Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Terry. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys and gals are doing well. And you know what? Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever y'all happened to do this past weekend. Hope y'all had a wonderful time with friends and family. And if you had to stay at home by, by yourself for whatever reason, you know what? I hope you got to do whatever you wanted to do because hey, you know what? You can, why not, right? So look, whenever it comes to filmmaking, I am by no means a filmmaker. I just happen to have a nice camera like this here to make videos for you all and also for my action. Uh, you know day job I am a photographer so I want everything to look good on camera for you guys and gals you know but whenever it comes to filming these videos for you all I do have studio lights and I have a uh, sunlight emulating top lamp but sometimes the white balance in my videos even though I have a custom white balance set and I have a LUT that I put on that I custom made in Re Resolve for these videos I notice sometimes that no matter how hard I try to get everything to sync up, and especially with my camera settings as well, my footage sometimes always looks a little green or a little magenta, kind of red, you know what I mean? And no matter how much tweaking I happen to do in Resolve, I'm never able to really fully make the colors look the way they should. This is just going to be a very quick tutorial about why, if you are a serious filmmaker, you should go out and buy one of these here. It is a $10, 18% gray card. And these are extremely important if you really want to nail your white balance in your editing software choice, or you could also do it directly in camera. But for this video here, I'm going to show you how to use DaVinci Re Resolve and a 18% gray card here to nail your white balance every single time so that way there you're not looking too green or you're not looking too red okay i'm gonna just sit here for a couple seconds to uh get a couple frames here for the camera to pick up this gray card all right let's hop into resolve see how this thing works all right, everybody. So now that everything here is pulled up in DaVinci Resolve Studio, and again, I might be using the studio version here, but you can actually do this in the free version as well. Not a big deal. Now, everything you're seeing back here is the stuff that you've already watched, obviously, okay? It's already color graded. Everything's been corrected. I have my LUT already applied to it, and it looks pretty darn good if you ask me. So this is what it looks like out of camera. And this is that gray card I was holding up a little bit ago. I'm going to go ahead and use this here to grade this footage. Okay, so how do you do that? Just like this here, folks. You want to go ahead and go down here to the color tab. You want to go up here to your sequence, up to your node. And let's go ahead and make a new one. So let's go ahead and hit Alt-S to make a serial node. Okay, personally, I never like to grade on the initial node. I like to make a second one just so I can come back to the first one to make other corrections if I need to. You don't have to do that. It's just the way I prefer to work. It just gives me something to fall back on. You know what I mean? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and change the white balance with this 18% card in this node here. And how do you do that? It's literally two clicks, folks. You want to go right down here, primaries color bar. It's in this section right here. You want to click this little eyedropper. You want to go up to your gray card, click it once. That's it. Now it's subtle, but you should already be able to see a little bit here. Okay. Like without it, everything looks a little green, but with it, everything looks more true to life in my opinion. You're gonna see a huge difference whenever we apply my custom LUT right now, okay? So I'm gonna go over here, make another new serial node here. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna to go to LUT. Here's my custom LUT, and yeah, it looks a little dark now. I did that on purpose so I can have some wiggle room here in post. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this up to where I normally put it at, 35.20 right there and then i always bring my highlights all the way down that's the way it looks i think it looks really good to show you all how this would look without the corrected color temperature via this 18 percent gray card what i'm going to do is i'm going to go right up here i'm going to right click and say reset node that's how it looks everything looks a little bit green doesn't really look too natural in my opinion and again i think this looks a heck of a lot better than this here but what do y'all think so if you want to see more content like this here on the channel, do me a huge favor. Get subscribed. Get this video liked. I would really appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one, okay? Take care, everybody. See you around.